guys, totally emerald here, here to review episode 954 of One Piece titled, Its Name is Enma, Odin's Great Swords. For everyone wondering why I'm reviewing a One Piece episode, I'll tell you at the end of the video. Uh, here's my new intro. <laughs> That's my One Piece review. I have an intro for my vlog, Black Clover, and One Piece videos. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's get into the review. Yelling, give me my sword back, he loses him, but decides, whatever, I'll just follow this trail of blood. Um, okay, well, this is good because we all know that Zoro is pretty bad at directions, so he won't get lost. Uh, pretty bad at directions. That's the understatement of the year. Yukimaru is all must escape while digging in the snow and reveals a cabin and escapes in the snow away. Zoro all, all can't find him. But uh, Zoro, but you know what, Zoro? You could just use observation hockey. It, you'd find it in no time. Hell, it doesn't even matter. Just do that. Oh, we're back to f Kaido's fodder soldiers finding other soldiers collapsed on the ground and they're sp spying on Kawamatsu and Hiyori planning and they're there and they move after him. Kawam Hiyori's all, I'm so glad you're here Kawamatsu! Kawamatsu spots the soldiers coming after them. Try they try to shoot them but Kawamatsu fodder sizes them with Kappa style! You're Gary! And with that they're dead. Makes sense since he's one of the nine red scabbers, and so of course he was gonna one shot them. Hiori runs through towards the kappa, asking if he's okay. Hiori, they're fodder soldiers. Uh, of course they're he's gonna be okay. They, they're no match for him, even if there was a thousand. He, he, uh, the Kawamatsu is all. Uh, there a uh, more are coming, and then they get on my back. Hiori puffs her face and is all, I'm not a child! Kawamatsu fires back with, don't get all pouty like a blowfish. Oh, he just burned you, Hiori. He got good. So they work together. Kawamatsu tells her after she disappeared, uh, he and some business I mean, got into, he had to take care of and bad things happened to him. Kawamatsu and Ringu were governed by Shimotsuki, Shimo, sorry, Shimotsuki clan, and it was famous for their power and their and their daimyo. I like his ponytail. Uh, it's he he looks really cool. He was always accompanied by a fox, but Ringu was destroyed by Kaido. People in Ringu are given swords when they are born. Wait, what? Come on, that is not safe at all. Though maybe they're only allowed to use them when they're, I hope, at least potty trained. Um, you know, I would actually um, grave rob for those. The people are with their swords from eternity. Okay, aside from swords being unsafe, that is pretty badass. I'd probably grave rob too. I know I'm repeating myself, but yeah. Kawamatsu decides to tell Hiori about the unfinished business he had with them, so we flash back to 13 years in the past. Kawamatsu is trying to commit seppuku, or samurai samurai a suicide, for those who don't know, until he hears a gunshot and sees Kaido's soldier being attacked by a beast, so they retreat. Can't I just die in peace? Ah, oh, you are Onimaru! Arr, I am your ally! The sunlight comes in, and it's revealed Onimaru has been guarding these. So, uh, guys, you know how I just told you I'm gonna grave rob? Well, I changed my mind. It turns out Onimaru has been guarding these swords. At least no one who has even an inch of intelligence would grave rob. Kawamatsu offers his hand in friendship, but Onimaru is all, No way, man! Get! Ooh! Onimaru collapses, so Kawamatsu naturally runs over to his aid. Onimaru, please stay with me! Please! A while later, they share a meal together after earning each other's trust. Which don't matter, I guess, when Onimaru attacks Kawamatsu after he tries stealing the swords and... Ah! Get off me! I'm sorry, but I have to! And now, flashback! Lady Toki, we must get out of here. I will stay. No, please. Leaving the past is impossible. 
A go on without me. Flashback's over. Wow, that didn't last long. Dude, you should have gone with them, Toki. Roar! And he's back on. Damn, this is gruesome. Oh, the humanity. Look, when fallen samurais die, we pick up their swords and, and fight together. That these sword, The spirit of the sword will make the samurai stronger. This is a battlefield. Um, until the fight with Kaido's crew, I can't die yet. And with his plea, the fox finally lets go, but damn, uh, that is gruesome. Kawamatsu, you really want to get that checked up. Aw, he's licking that. Isn't it adorable? Okay, I think that works. Just put a band-aid and a few more licks and I think that'll work. So they decide to collect the swords together. While grave robbing, they, just, they occasionally start stealing food from a stand. Hey, heroes gotta eat too, especially after defending from grave robbers. They even make a name for themselves. Bandit Bridget is Yukimaru. Wait, that's the same name as the warrior monk. Huh, I wonder if this is foreshadowing to something. Anyways, everything was going good until Kawamatsu got a little too careless and stole food one too many times and got sent to 13 years in jail. Whoa, 13 years in jail? A little harsh, Wano, don't you think? Then again, it's Wano under Kaido's rule, so I guess it's to him. If you break the law, he's gonna make sure you really get punished. Kawamatsu heads back to Zoro. Kawamatsu, and while there, um, Kawamatsu tells Kinemon over the snail that he's gonna supply their army with swords. Later it's revealed Gukimaru was the fox. Whoa, mind blown. It had to have eaten dull fruit. The episode ends with Zoro asking Shusui back, but uh, Hiyori is all, you can't have Shusui, it's a national treasure, but you can have my father's sword. Enma, the famed blade. Okay, that's the end of the episode review. If you've survived till the end, I'll tell you why I'm reviewing One Piece. Okay, see, my Black Clover reviews don't really get that many views, so I thought I'd give my channel a little variety and uh, review One Piece. Don't worry, I'll still be doing the Black Clover reviews. It's my favorite series, has been for over a year, but yeah. Uh, and I promise that uh, the the episode reviews will get better. Um, I had to write a really long script for it, 18 pages. So, you know, it's. Uh, I promise I will write the scripts, and and I promise um, I'll usually post the videos um, like two days after the episode airs, uh, three days at most, um, if things happen. All right, later, guys.